so that's the PPA. But actually, as you will have discovered from your readings, there are um, three different scene selective regions. So um, this is an uh, overview with kind of folded up brain, lateral view like this, medial view like this, looking at the middle of the brain. Like if you removed my left hemisphere and looked at the inside of my brain, it would look like that, sort of. Um, the yellow and red regions are the regions that respond more um, when people look at scenes than objects. Okay, that's sometimes known as the scene network. And it contains several key regions. The PPA that's right in there, and in this is the mathematically um, unfolded brain, so you can see the whole co cortical surface unfolded. See the PPA right there uh, that we've been talking about. But in addition, there's this other region that goes by two names, at least two names, TOS and OPA out here on the lateral, lateral surface. That's the one that was zapped in the Dilks paper with TMS, okay? Uh, because you can, because <laughs> it's out there on the side. Um, and the, um, the current evidence, as you will have seen from some of your readings, is that both the PPA and OPA TOS are engaged in perceiving scenes, just seeing the scene in front of you and seeing where the borders are, the shape of space in that scene, um, possibly also in recognizing that scene, but mostly just seeing what's in front of you. Okay, it's like a visual perceptual region, a high level perceptual region, okay? In contrast, there's another region uh, that's getting tragically short shrift in this lecture. I really may come back to it. Um, known as RSC, that stands for retrosplenial cortex. I'm not gonna test you guys on obscure letters. I will have to find some way to refer to these things. You should know that there are three, and know about the differences, but don't memorize lots of letters. Um, RSC is hiding in the sulcus there in the unfolded brain. You can see it a little more here. It also, like the others, responds more to scenes and objects. That's why it's yellow here, okay? Um, but its function seems to be a little bit different than some of the others. Um, in evidence, I'm not showing you, so I'm just gonna tell you, evidence both <coughs> from functional MRI uh, and from studies of patients with brain damage seems to show that that region is more involved in recognizing a familiar place rather than just seeing it and, and, and appreciating the shape of the space. It's like, oh, that's my house, okay? It responds more to familiar than unfamiliar um, scenes, which is not true of the PPA, okay? It also seems to be involved in this business of figuring um, your, your orientation with respect to your map of the world. So you're looking at a familiar place and you're trying to figure out, okay, how would I go from there to someplace else? RSC seems to play a major role in that function. Okay, all right. So um, there's a whole richness to be said here that we're skipping over um, in order to get to a bunch of other cool things. 